Range is 15 years old. We're one of the original farm to fork restaurants here in Sacramento. I think we're the first restaurant that fully embraced it, kind of 100%. We try to source all of our product locally, so all the fruits, vegetables, whatever we can comes from within about 100 miles of the restaurant. And then what can't come from within that area, we try to stay within California and source within the state. Smack dab in the middle of an expanse of farmland, the California state capital city, Sacramento, is feeding chefs with an abundance of agriculture. So these farmers come to us with maybe just like a little bit of some crop that they were toying with and we'll put it on our menu maybe for a week and then we sell out and it's gone for the rest of the year. Sacramento has more bounty than most areas and even though California is you know rich with all that, Sacramento's it's really dense with all that great agriculture, great relationships with you know, citrus farmers and rice farmers and great sturgeon and caviar here in Sacramento. And just kind of all those things are within a 20, 25 minute drive of us. So I've been able to develop relationships with these people and they come in to eat or you know, you call them every year and ask if you can go out there because you're trying to pick the best of the best. So over time, you just develop great relationships with these people and they become friends. At Grange, executive chef Dane Blum regularly evolves his menu based on seasonality, but he has his favorites. I'm a little biased, but I think we grow the best tomatoes in the entire country. And so obviously when summertime hits and it's hot enough for those tomatoes, like, you know, tomatoes are repeated multiple times throughout the menu and they're just beautiful and sweet and juicy and I, I think we get that and I also think we grow some of the best peaches in the entire country and I know Georgia tries to claim that but I think we really do and the beautiful thing about Sacramento is we have the foothills so a lot of things are grown up in the hills here and the reason being is that it gets really hot during the day and at night it gets cold and so those fruits uh, lock sugars in. Um, and it makes the fruit a lot sweeter. So we went into the kitchen to see how he fuels these farm-driven flavors. Grilled white prawns with sauce persiade, which is a citrus sauce. So we'll be showcasing some of that local citrus with beets and avocado mousse. This would be an appetizer on our menu. Avocados are local California avocados. The citrus is coming from about 20 minutes from here, and so are the beets. So we'll make a little avocado mousse, make a sauce with that citrus that has parsley, green onions, garlic, olive oil, and then grapefruit, Meyer lemon, and blood orange in it. And then uh, we'll grill the prawns that have been marinated. And also we'll place some beets around it just to add some earthiness to that dish. And while that's intended to whet your appetite, here's a look at a few more dishes they've served up. A grilled combo tuna with dried cranberry beans that are from the region. Chorizo, which being a Californian, chorizo is near and dear to your heart. The grilled tombo tuna, some local calamari coming out of Monterey, and then a little salsa verde on that as well, just to add a little freshness and lightness. Grilled rack of lamb, which is coming out, the lamb's coming out of Dixon, which once again is about 25, 30 minutes from here. That's coming from a farm called Superior Farms, and that's coming with pumpkin, broccoli, uh, Niswa olives, a little pumpkin puree, olive jus. And so just everything that's kind of in season at the moment and coming from local farms. So we have a little dessert and carrots are going really strong right now. So these are Nantes carrots and it's a Nantes carrot cake coming with a brown butter icing, uh, brown butter ice cream and a brown butter crumb. So brown butter everything, which works perfect in the winter time. And, really showcasing the carrots. The highest praise possible is seeing a repeat guest um, enjoy themselves and look forward to what you're making next. Mm -hmm.